Now we've got some questions that look like long division problems, but we're not going to use long division, we're going to use short division, and we can do that using factor pairs. So if we look at our divisor, 21 is 3 times 7, so what we can do, instead of dividing by 21, we can divide our dividend, we can divide 546 by 3, then take our answer and divide it by 7. Now this only works for calculations where you don't get a remainder, but most questions, especially when you're dividing by two digit numbers, won't give you a remainder, so this trick should work. So we can start by dividing 546 by 3, 5 divided by 3 is 1 remainder 2, 24 divided by 3 is 8, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we've divided by the 3, so now we can take our answer and divide it by the 7. Now taking the first two digits together, 18 divided by 7 is 2 remainder 4, and 42 divided by 7 is 6. So, by dividing, instead of dividing by 21, we divided by 3, then divided by 7, and that gave us our answer, 26. Now, 900 divided by 36. 36 is 6 times 6, so we can divide 900 by 6, then we're going to take our answer and divide it by 6 again. 9 divided by 6 is 1 remainder 3. 30 divided by 6 is 5. 0 divided by 6 is 0. So now we can take that answer, take the 150 and divide it by 6. Now taking the first two digits together, 15 divided by 6 is 2 remainder 3, and 30 divided by 6 is 5. So, 900 divided by 36 is 25. Now, 3384 divided by 72. For 72, we can use 8 times 9. So we can divide by 8, then take our answer and divide it by 9. So to start, we have 3384 divided by 8. Taking the first two digits together, 33 divided by 8 is 4 remainder 1. 18 divided by 8 is 2 remainder 2 and 24 divided by 8 is 3. So we can take our answer and divide it by the other factor. Now taking the first two digits together, 42 divided by 9 is 4 remainder 6, and 63 divided by 9 is 7. So our answer is 47.